We are upcycling glassware today that I got from the thrift store. Four projects, some painting, some transferring. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The first one is we're going to DIY our own cloche. So this is a vase that I picked up from the thrift store. We're going to flip it over and I cut out some elements from the Whispering Willow transfer and the other one is the Entomology, that is the butterflies. And the little frog is from the Entomology transfer as well. There will be a link below to the blog and it will have the supply list for everything that I've used in this video. I'm gonna take this brass pull and I'm gonna glue it on to the top. I'm using construction adhesive. I find it works the best. next one I'm going to be using the brocante transfer and I grabbed this from the thrift store as well and it's got this hint of green so in this transfer set there is a green label so it was a perfect match so for both of these um, projects you don't want to seal these uh, because it, it would just make the glassware all cloudy so no need to just don't submerge these don't get them wet all for decoration. For this next one, we're going to paint it, and I'm using the brand new Cottage Color in Haint Blue. You're going to need at least two coats, but make sure it dries really well in between coats. This paint has a sealer built in, so you don't want to overwork your brush strokes. I'm wet distressing this now and I'm using a baby wipe. With this paint, what you need to do is just kind of get it wet, wait a few seconds and then start rubbing. Now, once it starts to distress, be careful because it will continue to. Um, until you dry this okay and then like I said you don't need a sealer because it's built in but you could seal it something else with big top or liquid patina if you wanted that extra protection how cute would this be in your bathroom with some cotton balls or some q-tips or even in your kitchen with some treats keep in mind that you do not want to submerge this in water use just clean it with a damp rag but it'll wait at least 30 days for the paint to cure. I love this apothecary jar that I picked up from the thrift store. And the paint color that I'm using here is vintage pink. So let's add some interest to this jar. I'm going to be using Olive Crest and I'm using air dry clay. And we're going to put the clay in. And then what I do, I just kind of take my thumb and press it against the rim. There's a rim called a micro ridge. Micro rim, micro ridge, I don't know, something like that. It's really cool. But anyways, we take a credit card, smooth it out, and then flip it over and gently pull it out. I'm using construction adhesive to apply it to the jar. You wanna let this dry overnight if you can, or at least a couple of hours, because we're gonna paint over this, so I like to leave it sit overnight. But wait, before you let this dry, I'm taking this stamp set and I'm gonna press in the word bath. Now, what I would suggest you to do is do this before you glue the clay to your surface. 
because if you mess up like I did here, you could just ball that clay back up and recast it. We're too far gone now. This is glued on there. If I try to rip this off, it's going to ruin the whole project. I'm okay that the A is a little wonky. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification to be notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm using white linen to paint the label, just so it gives it a little bit of pop. And then we're going to distress this once it's all dried. For all the products that you see me using here today, you can get them on my website at iwanttocraft.com. There'll also be a link to the blog that'll have the supply list for all of these projects. I'm using dark wax, which is brown, and I'm applying it and then immediately wiping it off. You never want to let this dry because it'll be harder to remove. And what you didn't see here was I did add it to the word bath and that's what really makes it pop. I'm going to show you 